Imagine a rocket that can land itself back on the pad just minutes after launch. This is the future of space travel. NASA's ambitious plan to return humans to the moon hinges on several key components, including a lunar lander. For the first two crewed landings, SpaceX's Starship rocket will play a crucial role. The Starship, a variant of the rocket's upper stage, will be used in the Artemis 3 mission. This lander will dock with the Orion spacecraft and transport astronauts to and from the moon's surface. Although the Starship program began in 2012, NASA's involvement started with a $2.89 billion contract in 2021. In 2022, NASA further solidified its commitment with a $1.15 billion contract modification for a second crewed landing. NASA's Human Landing System HLS, program oversees the development of both Starship and Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander. Dr. Kent Choyanki, HLS Deputy Program Manager, emphasizes the importance of each Starship test launch. We learn a lot each time it happens, Choyanki said, highlighting the value of data from SpaceX. The successful catch of the Super Heavy booster by Mechazilla was a major milestone for rapid reusability. Rapid reusability is key to SpaceX's plan, allowing multiple launches to aggregate propellant in low Earth orbit. SpaceX's strategy involves launching a tanker version of Starship to build a fuel reservoir in orbit. An HLS version of Starship will dock with the tanker, refuel, and then head to the Moon. Before crewed missions, an uncrewed Starship landing demonstration on the Moon is required. NASA mandates that SpaceX demonstrate an uncrewed landing and departure from the Moon's surface. Looking ahead, the next big milestone is a propellant transfer demonstration in orbit. This test will provide critical data on long-duration capability and propellant transfer efficiency. SpaceX aims to begin this fueling campaign by March 2025, using two launch towers at Starbase. Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center will also play a role in increasing launch cadence. SpaceX envisions a bi-weekly launch schedule to support the propellant transfer operations. Earlier this year, SpaceX successfully performed an internal propellant transfer demonstration. The next step, a ship-to-ship -ship transfer, will be more complex and challenging. NASA's collaboration with SpaceX has led to improvements in Starship's components and systems. NASA engineers have provided valuable feedback on cryo valves and thermal protections. Astronauts have been involved in the design process, offering insights during monthly meetings. Integrated testing campaigns with Axiom Space have further refined the Starship's crew systems. NASA and SpaceX will continue to work on docking capabilities and engine relight tests. In summer 2025, a critical design review will assess Starship's compliance with NASA's requirements. All of this work is building up to the Artemis 3 moon landing, now scheduled for September 2026. Despite potential delays, Chunatsky is confident that Starship will not be a holdup. Stay tuned as we witness the dawn of a new era in space exploration. The future is closer than ever.